皆さん、英語のソータです。Hey everyone, it's Sean. Sean, you posted a new All English episode last week, I guess. Yes. How was it?、Uh, yeah, it was fun.、Um, this time we talked about the education system in the UK and how it's different to、uh, the Japanese education system, the American education system, some of the vocabulary and how that's different as well, and my experiences from Uh, primary school and high school as well.、Mm-hmm. Uh, and then in part two,、uh, we're going to explore the further education, so university.、Mm-hmm. So I hope everyone enjoyed the episode. Hi, we now have a very interesting episode of the show. I'm going to show you the show. I'm going to show you the show. I'm going to show イギリスの教育システムについてショーンが話してくれまして前回はマーベルでしたからねまああのオールイングリッシュに関しては複数回に分けてお話をしていきますのでまだパート1聞かれてない方は聞いていただいてまたパート2パート3の更新もお待ちいただけたらなと思いますえちょっとだけ更新のねスケジュールも最近変わってきてますので皆さんに楽しんでいただけていたら嬉しいなと思うんですがえ今まではねこう2週更新して1週休み2週更新して1週休みという形だったので、まあ、可能な限り毎週更新には最低1本はねあのエピソードを配信したいなと思いまして今後はなるべく毎週最低1個は配信される形にしましてそのオールイングリッシュエピソードも含めで配信できるときは、えー1エピソードにつき2トピックに分けて更新するということで週2回更新されるときもありますので今回のエピソードも2つに分かれますので1つ目は土曜日の朝9時2つ目は火曜日の夕方5時にアップされますので特にこのバイリンガルエピソード僕がいる回のときは2回更新されますのでぜひこの更新度が上がっても楽しんでいただければなと思います。So, anything else? Nothing? <laughs>、um, yeah, I think that's, that's about it. y e a h YouTube もね、英語のソータで、土曜日の夜7時目標をアップにしてますので、ぜひチェックしていただいて、インスタもね、ショーンはショーンブラッドリー数字、uh, 1986。<laughs> で、僕はショーンブラッドリー数字、1986。で、インスタもね、ショーンはショーンブラッドリー数字、1986。で、僕はショーンブラッドリー数字、1986。で、僕はショーンブラッドリー数字、1986。で、僕はショーンブラッドリー数字、1986。で、僕はショーンブラッドリー数字、1986。で、僕はショーンブラッドリー数字、1986。で、僕はショーンブラッドリー数字、1986。で、僕はショーンブラッドリー数字、1986。で、僕はショーンブラッドリー数字、1986。で、僕はショーンブラッドリー数字、1986。で、僕はショーンブラッドリー数字、1986。で、僕はショーンブラッドリー数字、1986。で、僕はショーンブラッドリー数字、1986。台本なし英会話レッスン。エピソード169 Okay, what is the topic for episode 169, Sean? The topic for today is the reaction to Naomi Osaka. はい、今回のお題は大阪なおみ選手の決断による海外の反応です。こちらのお題は、インスタグラム英語のソータにて、トヤさんからいただきました。ちょっと今回の番組の趣旨とは異なるんですが、読ませていただきます。ソータさん、ショウさん、こんにちは。テニスの大阪直美選手が、えー、全仏オープンを棄権されました。そのことについて話していただけたらと思います。大阪選手は心の健康のために試合後の記者会見をキャンセルし後日うつ病に悩まされていることを公表しました心ないマスコミからの質問やプレッシャーに悩んでいたそうですスポーツ選手とマスコミとの距離や先日適応障害で休業に入った女優さんなど最近多いメンタルヘルスについてなども全般的にトークしていただけたらと思いますとのことですえーまあ、今回の番組の趣旨はそのメンタルヘルスっていう部分ではないんですが、えー、コメントをねいただきましたので、まあ、あの内容としては絡んでくると思いますのでこちらのコメントもシェアさせていただきましたかつ僕あの自分のコンテンツの中であんまり匿名あごめんなさい、えー、特定の名前どなたかの人の名前を出してあのコンテンツを作ることがあまり好きではなくてもちろんいいお話だったら全然いいんですけれどもちょっとこうネガティブな要素も関わってくる内容に関してはあまり僕は賛同的ではないんですけれども、まあ、今回に関してはじっくり考えた結果いろいろと面白いディスカッションに広がるかなと文化の違いもシェアできるかなと思ったのでこれをあのお話しさせていただきますが決してねあの大阪なみ選手のことを批判したりとかそれを使っていろんな方にこうただ聞いていただきたいがためのネタ作りのコンテンツではないっていう点はご理解いただけたらなと思います。So first of all, do you know the incident which happened? <laughs> yeah, I mean it's kind of hard to ignore it at the moment.、Mm-hmm. You know, it's everywhere on, on the news and 
uh, you know, both Japanese people and uh, people overseas are talking about it as well. And I think both uh, both groups of people are focusing on different elements, mm-hmm. different parts. Uh, but what 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 do you know about the, the situation? Yeah, and before that, mm-hmm. normally I don't want to make a topic with. Um, you know, somebody's specific name or character. Yeah, yeah. Because um, sometimes I might include the negative aspects or something, especially this case. Uh-huh. But I just thought it would be interesting to focus on the cultural difference mm. um, between us mm-hmm. in terms of decisions right. or you know expressing feelings. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. why you know, please don't get me wrong, everyone. Um, you know, <laughs> we are just going to focus on the cultural difference. Mm. And then your question. Uh, what do I know about that? Yeah, yeah. Because on on social media or mm. on news everywhere, especially in Japan, mm-hmm. you know, we have the chance to see the news, mm. and then the situation is changing little by little. Yeah. Because at first, um, when the news came out, mm. you know, everyone was kind of you know against on social media yeah. her decision because uh-huh. um she suddenly. Um, announced the decision. Yeah, but after she came out, mm. her depression. Yes, um, yeah, the situation, the situation changed a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that that's that's the important thing as well. Um, like quite often, if if we quickly judge somebody and say, "Oh, that action was unacceptable. They shouldn't have done that," but without knowing the deeper. Um, Problems or the, something deeper that's going on behind the scenes. Um, I think it's very important that when we do see those kinds of controversial situations, that we should step back and think, okay, why has that happened, or mm-hmm. why are they talking about that kind of thing? Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I just thought well, it was uh, like I, I missed the initial announcement uh, when she said, "I'm not doing interviews anymore." The thing that caught my attention was the fifteen thousand dollar fine mm-hmm. that she got for missing the uh, interviews. Um, what do you think about that? Because mm, um, that was a rule, right? So you know, um, she can leave and she can say no, mm. but that was a rule. So mm. maybe it's kind of fair because she has to pay. She knew. Maybe she knew, yeah, and then she decided it. Yeah,、mm-hmm. I think you know Naomi Osaka is one of the highest-paid female athletes、mm-hmm. of all time, right?、Mm-hmm. So, fifteen thousand dollars is <laughs> <laughs> to, to her. That's like、uh, you know pocket change. You、uh-huh. know, it's not really going to impact her. I think the the interesting thing is that is the message that the the French Open tournament were trying to send. Maybe to other players, perhaps, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. by saying, "Look, if we're going to fine Naomi Osaka for not doing the press conferences,、mm-hmm. then we will fine anybody. You know, we'll fine you too as well."、Um, so yeah, I think you're right. I think that it's a rule, and it's to make sure that everybody is treated equally,、mm-hmm. right? So can I ask you a question? Sure. Yeah. So First, like when you saw the news,、mm. what was your first reaction like? My initial reaction.、Mm. Um, well, I I I know that Naomi Osaka has been、uh, kind of I, I want to say kind of picked on or bullied by the press、mm-hmm. in the past.、Mm-hmm. So I kind of figured that it was something to do with the press, something that they've done,、mm-hmm. not so much something that she did.、Mm-hmm. So I didn't know the full details. So my initial reaction was, "Oh, what has the press done this time?"、Mm-hmm. So my instant gut reaction was to go to the the press and the media for them for what they've done. Because、mm-hmm. um, I remember maybe last year or maybe two years ago, she won a tennis tournament, <laughs>、yeah. and she was interviewed by a Japanese、um, news broadcaster. And she said, "Oh, obviously in Japanese." She said, "Oh, this is amazing that you've won.、Um, how do you feel? Please respond in Japanese."、Mm-hmm. And Naomi Osaka just cut her off and said, "I'm going to respond in English because it's easier for me.、Mm-hmm. Uh, but I'm very happy." And blah 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 blah. And that became like a big news topic.、Mm-hmm. And that was really the fault of the press,、mm-hmm. not Naomi Osaka,、mm-hmm. right? 
So my initial reaction for this situation was the same thing.、Mm. Oh, what what have the press done this time? You know, I see. So in your case, you're for her decision she made.、Oh, yeah. Yeah. うん、I see. まず一旦ちょっとここまで訳させていただきたいなと思うんですが、えーとね、もともと僕、そのショーンに最初の initial reaction、これはもうインスタグラム、えー、台本なシェイカーレッスンに、ね、打ってシェアしておきますが、最初のリアクション、まあ、first reaction でもいいですが、これはどういう感じだったのって聞こうと思ってたんですけれども、まあ、結論から言うと、ショーンは I'm for her decision、えー、彼女のディシジョンに対して賛成だと。で、なぜかっていうと、基本的には、あ、プレス、その、報道メディアが何をしたんだと。あ、またなんかこう、ひどいことしたのかっていう、どっちかっていうと、そっちの方に意識がいってたと。で、過去に、えー、大阪の選手が、まあ、それは日本の記者の方みたいだったんですけれども、あの、日本語でこう、インタビュー答えてくださいって、言ってで私はその英語の方が話しやすいのでってちょっと話題になったねこうニュースあったと思うんですけれどもこうなんかこう記者の聞き方に納得できなかったことが、えー、ナオミ選手にあったんじゃないかなのでショーンとしてはあ出ない記者会見に答えないっていうのはあなるほどなんか記者がまたこうひどいことをしたりしたんだろうなっていうふうに捉えてたっていうことでしたね。でまあ、あの僕もその SNS で最初知って多分みんなもそうだったと思うんですけど、ね、全体的にうんと僕もこう最初見た時は何ともそうとは思わなかったんですよねこうあそうなんだぐらい多分皆さんもそうですよねそうなんだぐらいだったと思うんですけどどんどん,なんかこう状況が、ね、変わっていってあ数日前ぐらいまでは。えー、結構こう批判の方向に向いていたなと思うんですよね。SNS でもそうだし、ニュースとかでもあの今までの過去にそのテニスプレーヤーとして出られてた方も、いやこれも仕事なんだからやった方がいいんじゃないかとか、あるいは SNS とか見てても結構こう自分のわがままを出しすぎてるんじゃないかって言ってるコメントも結構目立っていたりとか、まあ、あとは有名なね現在のプレイヤーの方々もコメントを出していて、やっぱメディアのおかげで僕たち私たちはこう有名に慣れてたりもするんだからそこはちゃんとこう責任を果たすべきなんじゃないかって結構批判がね多かったと思うんですけどまたちょっと最近ねこの今収録してるのがあの水曜日なんですけれどもあの大坂なおみ選手がうつ病の状況を告白された後は状況がちょっと変わってきて。うん、それだと仕方がないかなっていうふうに変わってきてるのかなっていうのが今の現状ですよね。So、um, in Japan, you know, initially,、mm. she got kind of attacked on social media, like, oh, she was not responsible. I saw that, yeah. Yeah, and then yeah. even famous tennis players、yeah. also made some comments on,、um, mm. you know, we got famous thanks to the press. Yeah. So we have to be responsible for. Uh, what we do, including you know, those press, conference,、mm-hmm. pr- press conferences too. Yeah,、um, the, the same、mm-hmm. thing happened、um, in,、uh, in Western culture too.、Mm-hmm. Um, I just had to quickly search to see who it was. It was、uh, Serena Williams.、Mm-hmm. Serena Williams. Yeah.、Um, she said that she supports Naomi Osaka、mm-hmm. um, and she wants to give her a hug. She said that she understands how she feels, so she wants to hug her.、Um, so I think Naomi Osaka has got a lot of support from her、uh, kind of co workers, you know, her fellow tennis players. Oh, I mean, like、uh, initially,、mm. even, famous pre- pre- <laughs> even famous tennis players、yeah. made some negative comments. Oh, yeah, yeah.、Mm-hmm. But I mean, like, in, I think that's mainly in Japan, right? Oh, no, no, no. Like,、uh, Nado, do you know, Nadaru. I, I'm terrible、Nado. with、yeah, tennis players. Or、um, like、um, even you know, international famous players、mm. too, like、uh, made some negative comments. Like, we got famous thanks to the press. So, Naomi Osaka too,、um, she should be more responsible or something. But、mm. after she announced she is diagnosed as depression,、mm-hmm. the comments became a bit more positive. Mm-hmm. Yes.、Um, I guess that would be. Yeah, I guess that's part of the reason why people's opinions change is because she posted about having depression yeah, and yeah, anxiety, yeah. right?、Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I guess some of their initial reactions were not so good.、Um, I, I want to say, 
was it Serena Williams, maybe, that said something like, um, oh, some people have like thick skin or some people uh, don't have thick skin and they're not good in these situations. And I was thinking, wait, is she supporting Naomi Osaka or mm-hmm. is she kind of saying something negative against her? Um, so initially, how was her reaction like Selena Williams? To um, I think... The initial reaction was was generally positive, and people could understand why she made the decision not to uh, attend the press conferences. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, there were some in the in the media who went against her. Um, there's one kind of infamous person called mm-hmm. Piers Morgan. Mm-hmm. You probably heard of him. He's a, a British former journalist for a newspaper, but now does kind of uh, TV presenting. He's he's very bitter. Mm-hmm. He's a very bitter old man. Mm-hmm. Um, he had an incident with uh, Meghan Markle. So when she said to him, "Oh no, thank you, I'm not interested," he started attacking her, saying, "Oh, she's she's leaving her royal duties. She's betraying the UK and blah blah blah." And really going after her. So he did the same thing with um, Naomi Osaka. Mm-hmm. He called her a brat. I think it was, you know, like a like gaki kind of. Mm-hmm. You know, you're a kid kind mm-hmm. of thing. Um, he called her a brat and compared her to Meghan Markle <laughs> for um, not doing her responsibilities, mm. which I thought was an interesting comparison. Uh, not really the same, though. Mm. Uh, well, yeah, it's kind of the same because, you know, it, yeah, Meghan Markle wanted to escape uh, the media, mm. right? And that kind of thing. And Naomi Osaka, she's escaping the, the media as well, right? The press conference. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it seems like, um, you know, they're doing the same thing. But, mm. you know, the truth mm. would be like, I think um, Naomi Osaka, for me, yeah, is more responsible for uh, what she has been doing so far. Mm. But yeah, about this time, like uh, she got criticized and then misunderstandings happened, I guess. Because mm. um, I supported her. Because she was protesting, yeah, um, like against racial discrimination, and she had a kind of strong will. Mm. So I think she has a kind of strong will. Mm. Yeah, that's why in this case, it turned out, um, you know, it worked in a negative way. It, it, yeah, <laughs> it came across as being very mm-hmm. negative. Yeah. Mm-hmm. はい、ちょっとね、ここまで一旦訳したいなと思うんですけれども、まあ今状況をね、こう説明していたんですが、最初はね、こう日本でも結構批判の声が上がっていて、で、ナダル選手とかね、世界的に有名な選手も出るべきじゃんっていうところになってたんですけど、あの、えー、っと、うつ病の告白があった後から、ちょっとこう状況が変わってきてたりするっていうことだったので、僕もその最初を聞いた時は別に、あ,あ、そうなんだと思ってたんですけど、みんながこう何かを言い始めて見てると、あ,あ、そっか、確かに出るっていう義務があったのならば、その出た方がね、良かったのかもしれないなとか、それも仕事の一環とかっていうテニスプレイヤーの意見とかも聞くと、あ,あ、なるほどね、それもやらないといけなかったのかもね、っていうところに思ってたなんですけど、まあ、メンタルヘルスのお話が出てきて、まあ、状況は変わっていたり変わっていったり僕もしたのかなと思うんですがちょっとあのスペリングですが、うん、ポケットチェンジ can you spell it? <笑>ポケットチェンジ、uh, P-O-C-K-E-T and then change C-H-A-N-J、uh, G-E そうですね、えー、まあこうもう大した額じゃないお金っていうチェンジはお釣りとかって意味もありますからポケットに入るぐらいの、ね、お金、えー、150万円ぐらいでしたかねその参加しないことによって請求されたファインっていうのは罰金っていうことですけれどもまあ大阪選手もそれは知ってた上でねされたんじゃないかなって僕も思うのでショーンはそれに対してこうフェアじゃないと。なんで150万円もそれで払わないといけないんだっていうところだと。私はまあどっちかっていうとその賛成、みんながやりたい気持ちを優先して、で、そのプレスカンファレンスとかメディアの方にちょっとこう原因があったんじゃないかっていうこと。がまあここまでのお話ですよね、うん、でも一つまあただこれをねぐだぐだ話してるだけではあのお題としても成り立たないかなと思うのと面白くないかなと思うので聞きたいのが「So you know I think if it was a Japanese person、mm-hmm. you know purely、uh, like 100 Japanese person、mm-hmm. like we would tend to say oh I have to be patient and、mm-hmm. I have to do everything、mm-hmm. um, you know I'm responsible for、mm-hmm. and then you know 
saying no,、mm. I'm not gonna do that.、Mm. That's not really gonna happen in Japan. In Japan, yeah.、Mm. Mm-hmm. But you know, compared to、um, foreign countries、yeah. or you know foreign situations, I think people tend to say their honest feelings or emotions. Yeah, for sure.、Um, so you know. Can you find any difference in terms of decisions or expressing feelings in Japan and in the UK? Yeah, absolutely.、Mm. Um, like you've just mentioned, I think if this was、uh, you know, a, a Japan situation with Japanese tennis players like in, in Japanese culture, I think they, it would be a very different situation.、Um, you know, Naomi Osaka is a、uh, mixed race, so she has this、uh, quality that obviously. Somebody who has been brought up purely in Japan, you know,、mm-hmm. it, it's different.、Yeah. Um, in terms of like Western culture, I think things like mental health are always seen as, as the most important thing、mm-hmm. in any situation.、Mm-hmm. You know, you hear stories all the time about famous actors or celebrities、um, who are having a rough time because of the media or whatever, and they need to step away. And they're very vocal about it.、Mm-hmm. They will say, listen, I'm having a h- tough time with this situation.、Uh, I need to step back for six months or something away、mm. from media and, and the spotlight. And I think that's what Naomi Osaka did, right?、Mm-hmm. You know, she, she had that fine, that initial fine for, for not showing up.、Uh, people were asking why, why did you do that? And then she posted on her Twitter saying, Hey everyone, I want to be straight with you.、Um, I've been struggling with anxiety. Um, and depression since 2018. I need to take some time to just, you know, collect myself. And yeah, you know, she was very open and, and said all of these things on social media、mm-hmm. for everybody to see、mm-hmm. with no filter,、mm-hmm. right? It's not like her manager posted on her behalf or、uh, another company posted, you know, the, the tennis company didn't post on her、mm-hmm. behalf. It was her account. Mm-hmm. She, so, her, her message that she put out was, was personal from her because、mm-hmm. she wanted people to know exactly how she was feeling. In terms of Japanese culture, from what I've experienced, I don't think you'd see that.、Mm-hmm. You wouldn't see that kind of post on、yeah. social media, right? About political comments, too. Right. <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah, you know, somebody does that on, on behalf,、right. as you said. Mm, and maybe we tend to be patient sometimes too much. So, I think it's a good thing to say that I'm going 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 to say that. 僕はそこにすごくこうディスカッションの余地があるんじゃないかなと思って今回これを選んだっていうのがあったんですけどその海外の人から見て特にショーンから見て彼女がもうこうってあの決めたことでそれを発表することやっぱりここに関してそういう何もこう違和感とかっていうのはなく結構普通にあの感じることなのっていう質問から、まあ、ショーンとしてはそうだねと、えー、欧米圏ではその自分のメンタルヘルスがやっぱり一番自分が嬉しいか嬉しくないかっていうふうな気持ちがこう大切になってくるのでもちろん我慢するポイントもあるとは思うんですけどこう日本人ほどねこう我慢してっていうケースはショーンから見てもそんなにこうないんじゃないかっていうことで僕から見てても結構これ日本だったらうんあるいは完全なる日本人の選手で、ね、あの大阪直美選手はこうハーフではありますけれどもやっぱりこう海外の,その、ね、環境で育ったところの方が大きいのかなって個人的には思うのでこう日本の文化の中とかで完全に育ってるとああいう形での発表とか出ませんっていうのって結構しにくいなって思うんですよねあるいはしない人も結構多いんじゃないかなと思うんですよ。そういう意味で、うん、僕も最初見た時に、まあ、何も感じなかったけれどもこう見ていくうちに、うん、日本だったらこれはちょっと長かっただろうなとかもしこれは日本の戦いで日本人が日本でやったとしたらもっとみんなに叩かれてただろうなとか結構ここに文化の違いって出たなって思ったんですよね。あるいはその発表の仕方ですよね、オンビハーフって言ってましたが、うんうんうん、何々変わって、何々代表して
芸能人の方も含め日本で結構こう会社が代わりにこう発表してくれるとかですけど海外の場合ね大阪なみ選手もですけどツイッターに書いてそのままボンってポーストするっていう、うんうん、ここはまあショーンから見てもよくあることっていうそこにまあ違いが出たのかなと、まあ、でも今回の件に関しては外国人の方も最初はねいやこれは出るべきでしょうって言ってるのもあったのであよっぽどそのねテニス僕たち知らないからね簡単に言えちゃいますけれどもそのテニス知ってる人たちからするとよっぽどこの大切なあの仕事の一環っていうのがこの記者会見っていうことだったんだろうなっていうのは推測をしてたので、うん、まあこういうお話ですよね。そのえー、日本人、日本の環境だとちょっとしづらかった。でもそれに対して外国だと結構はっきりオープンに言うっていう、ね、これがこう違いとしてちょっと現れたのかなって思いますね。Mm. Yeah, because、uh, if this happened in Japan,、yeah. in Japanese match, and、yeah. then you know, the players were all Japanese,、yeah. maybe the person who said, no, I'm not going to attend it.、Yeah. Uh, would be attacked more. Yeah, absolutely.、Mm. Yeah. So, you know, expressing feeling in terms of expressing feelings,、mm. I think there is a difference between those countries.、Mm. I think, yeah, expressing feelings, but also something I always find interesting is、um, all of these companies uh, or, or uh, you know, the, the tennis corporation or whatever, all of them say, yeah. Mental health is very important to us. We think about the mental health of our staff. We think about the mental health of our employees and they talk about it and they, they pretend to care about mental health. But then when somebody does something because of their mental health issues, so for example, somebody with anxiety does something like Naomi Osaka and says, you know what, I can't do、uh, the press conference because my anxiety is too, too much. Those people are shamed,、mm. right?、Mm. How, why is that fair?、Mm. You know, you, you, you've just said that you know,、uh, mental health is very important,、mm-hmm. and now you've got somebody who has that mental health issue or that mental health problem, and now you're fining them and telling them that they're going to be disqualified、yeah. if they don't come、mm. to the next one. It's like, what kind of message is that sending?、Mm. Virtue signaling again. <laughs> right, yeah, it's the same thing again. It's just,、mm. yeah, I can't agree with it. Yeah,、so. I agree with that point. But at the same time, I think what she did,、mm. Naomi Osaka,、mm. um, especially, you know, the way she made the decision and the way she announced、yeah. were not perhaps appropriate、mm. um, initially because、mm. um, she just tweeted it. And then she didn't have the discussion with the executive、yeah. of the tennis、um, companies or something. And、oh, she... I, I heard different. I, I heard that she, she sent a letter to them first. Oh, really? Saying that she didn't want to、uh, go to the press conference.、Mm-hmm. And then when they said, if you don't go, you'll be fined, I think that's when she posted on social media. After that? Yeah. Oh, really? Then, yeah, yeah that was my misunderstanding. And then, yeah, like I was thinking, if she didn't take the measure, the, that first、mm-hmm. step and then、mm-hmm. just post it on there.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I see. Then that makes sense.、Mm. Yeah, I'm going to go back to the next one. I'm going to go back to the next one. I'm going to go back to the next one. I'm going to go back to the next one. I'm going to go back to the next one. I'm going to go back to the next one. I'm going to go back to the next one. I'm going to go back to the next one. あの今回はあの危険しますとか行きませんってなったらいや行くべきだっていうふうになるっていうそこがなんかこう、まあ、Virtue Signaling って言ってましたけれどもこう見た目だけね今日本でもどこでもあるじゃないですかこう女性に優しい会社とか<笑>ブラック残業ありますあ残業ありませんとかうちはホワイトですって言いながら実際入ってみたら全然違うとか、うんうん、何かこうこういうことが起こっていて相談してみたら実際はそうじゃなかったっていうことが起こっているとでも、うん、でも今思い出したけれどもあの She didn't say like a mental health or something right initially because after everything happened、うん、like this she just announced、うんうんうんちょっとごめんなさいここねあの順番があれなんですけれども僕は最初はいきなりツイートしたと思ってたんですよねこう時間がなかったのでとかっていうのもなんか記事で読んだのでいきなりツイートしてこういうふうになっちゃったのかなと思ってたんですけどあのなんだ私は棄権しますっていうのでも基本的には最初
手紙を送っていきませんって言って150万の罰金のことを言われたのでツイートしたっていうふうなメディアの報道も読んだっていうここはねどっちかはちょっと僕は分かんないんですけれどもどっちにしても多分うつ病だったとかっていうメンタルヘルスの部分はちょっと伏せてたんだと思うんですよ一切この情報ってどこにでもメディアに出てなかったので。でいろいろとこう話題になった後に実はメンタルヘルスでしたっていう風なあメンタルヘルスのプロブレムがありましたっていう風に出てたと思うので、まあ、つまり僕が言いたいのはあのー、そうだなしんどいからやめるとか何かしないっていうことももちろん OK だと思うんですけどその時の対処の仕方例えば今回のもメンタルヘルスでこういうことがあるので。えー、プレスカンファレンスに出れませんとかっていうのはもっとツイッターのねそのメッセージにも全然書いてないので最初の時に言ってたらここまでにならなかったんじゃないかなっていう視点も僕はあるんですよね。まあ、つまり言いたいことは自分のその気持ちっていうのを表現するのももちろん大切だと思うんですけどそれと同時にどういうふうにその意思表示をしていくのかっていう過程とか方法っていうのももう少し気をつけてやってるとここまでにならなかったり一般的なお話でももうちょっとうまくいったんじゃないかなっていうふうに僕は個人的に思うんですよね。Uh, cause, um, you know, before she announced、uh, she had a depression,、mm. like no information about her、uh, mental health. Yeah. So maybe she didn't、um, you know, tell any, anything about her mental health.、Mm-hmm. And at least like, in public, she didn't mention it、um, in the first tweet. Yeah. Yeah. So my point、yeah. was like,、um, like, if she said that properly, and then if、uh, she let everyone know、mm-hmm. that she had depression,、mm-hmm. maybe you know, people supported her、mm. more. And much more earlier, I guess. But、mm. what's funny? Why are you smiling? I'm, 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 yeah, I'm, I'm going to throw a counter argument、mm-hmm. straight back at that.、Um, why should she have to do that?、Uh, so that she won't get in any trouble. But why should she you know, share, share with everyone, share with the public? Oh, by the way, I have this mental problem. You know, that's her private life, that's her private business.、Oh. If, she, if she says, Oh, I don't want to go to this press conference. Um, for personal reasons, or I can't go to that press conference today, that should be enough.、Mm-hmm. It shouldn't be, why? Why not? Tell us, tell us why. What is the problem? You know, that is very invasive, I、mm. think. But not only about you know, announcing her、um, mental health,、mm. what I mean is、uh, not only about that, like、yeah. what she, how she said or how she announced、mm. um, would have had. You know, something she could have changed, I guess. Yeah. From my perspective. Like,、mm. for example,、um, she just said, you know, those questions are,、um, you know, tiring and then annoying. And then I feel g e t exhausted. That's why I don't want to attend、yeah. the press conference.、Mm. So maybe if she said, oh, actually, I have been,、um, you know, Um, I have been struggling with those questions and then I'm not feeling good every time I, I attend it.、Mm. That's why you know, I'd like to cancel the press conference or something. She just said, I'm not going to attend、yeah. um, the conference、mm. in the future or something. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the thing I thought she could have changed or something. Mm. Mm. I think another, another part of that, you know. Okay, maybe putting it on Twitter was maybe not the best、uh, approach to take. But as far as I'm aware, she sent a letter to the tennis、uh, organization、mm-hmm. to say, oh, I'm not going to be attending、uh, this thing. That should have been enough, I、mm-hmm. think. I think that should have been、mm-hmm. enough for them to do it. But、um, I think that if she had posted a, a letter or something, On beha- like somebody had written a letter on behalf of her, her message might have been changed or manipulated. So I think the reason that she wrote it on Twitter was so that she could be you know, direct, mm. perhaps. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But yeah.、Uh, I mean, over, like, overall, in my opinion, I don't think there was anything wrong with what she did, and I, I support. Her decision. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, then my opinion would be like half and half. Half and half. Like,、yeah. uh, um, sh- sh- um, I'm for what she did,、mm. but how she, you know,、um, announced、yeah. can be changed. 
um, could have been changed, mm-hmm. I guess. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and also, uh, but you know, I want to respect her decision. Yeah. And then you know, not completely against her or something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I understand that she didn't want to announce that she had the depression or something. But maybe sh- straightforward. Yeah, she is always direct. Mm-hmm. So you know, oh, but it's a kind of Western culture, like directly saying. I think so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, like my like suggestion was like uh, doing in a smart way. <laughs> in an elegant way. Yeah, that's yeah. It's, <laughs> it's difficult. It's, mm. it's tough. It's a tough situation, and yeah, it's it's a cultural difference as mm. well, right? Obviously, if the, like you said before, if this situation happened in Japan, it would be a totally different situation. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's 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 tough, and you know, I don't think there is uh, really a a right way to go about this mm. kind of situation, but. Mm. From from my personal opinion, I I I think what she did was fine. Yes, yeah. ね、まあ一旦ここでね訳させていただいて、ちょっとパートワンはこのあたりで終わりまして、えー、パートツーに移ってねそのエピソードは火曜五時にアップしたいなと思うんですけれども、あのー、皆さんはどう思われますか。ぜひインスタグラム大富なシェイカーレッスンのコメント欄やツイッター大富なシェイカーレッスンハッシュタグをぜひつけてコメントしていただければと思うんですけれども、結果的にショーンは彼女のやったことに何も問題はなかった。で、僕は実は半分半分っていう感じだったんですよね。で、その内容としては、あのーえー、参加しないっていうのも僕はありだと思うんですよね。でも、その発表の仕方とか、その手順の取り方っていう部分に、何かこう改善点はあったんじゃないかと。例えばもう最初から、あの、ちょっとこう、まあ、僕さっき英語の時に言ってたのは、自分はこういう病気がちょっとあってっていうふうに説明してみてもよかったんじゃないかって言ったら、ショーンとしては、いやでもそれはプライバシーだと。プライベートのお話をそこまでも公に言う必要はあるのかと。でもそれは聞いて、あ、確かにそうだなとも思うんですよね。最初からね、自分はこういう病気があってっていうのは確かにちょっとこう、しんどいですよね。でもなんかこう僕的にはもっとなんかこうスマートウェイな上手になんか対応できなかったのかなってだからこそこうなんだろうな批判されてもったいなかったなっていうふうに思うからこそのコメントなんですけど今までねすごいこう黒人差別の方黒人差別に反対ということで黒いマスクつけてあの試合に出たりとかすごくこう自分の意思をはっきりされててすごいなと思ってたんですよねかっこいいなと思ってたんですよねでもそれがこうなんか今回に関してはストレートに出すぎていけませんでそういうメディアからされる質問がしんどいのでっていうこの発表の仕方っていうのはちょっとなんか誤解を招く可能性が「It had a possibility of causing misunderstandings」っていうそこだったんじゃないかなって僕は個人的には思うので自分の意思を言うにしてももうちょっとこうねうまくやるっていうのもあってもよかったんじゃないかっていうことで僕はハーフハーフっていうことでしたね。皆さんはあのどう思われるかぜひまた感想をシェアしていただけたらなと思うんですけど<笑>でもまあショーンが言ってたようにこうはっきりね言う欧米文化っていうところと、うん、日本のね時にいい時にちょっともうあの本音と建前で何を考えてるか分かんないっていうね両方それいいところ悪いところあるかもしれないですけれどもねなんかこれがこう難しい問題かもしれませんね。はい、はいあはい、今日のエピソードは、はいどうぞ。どうぞ。<笑>言って言って。今日のエピソードは<笑>いかがでしたでしょうかはい、いかがでしたでしょうか、えー、ぜひまた感想をシェアしていただければなと思います。僕はインスタグラム英語のソータという名前で、ちょっと間違って、インスタグラム英語のソータという名前じゃない。<笑>英語のソータっていう名前で、インスタグラム、えー、ツイッター、YouTube やってますので、インスタグラムストーリー毎日更新してます。ツイッターも勉強法とかシェアしてますので、でえー、YouTube もぜひ見てみてください。ショーンはショーン・ブラッドリース。数字<笑>何の数字 ?What's the number?1986 <笑>はいであのやってますのでぜひフォローしてくださいで番組をね気に入っていただけた時はぜひシェアしていただいたり、まあ、ショーンとかにもね楽しかったよとかいろいろとコメントをあのしていただけたらなと思いますショーンがねちょっとね5月病でやられてるのであの、うん、He is 
you know, a bit sick now. Just a little bit. A little bit. So, so, now, just the motivation. I'm going to go to the next one. 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 そうそうちょっとねぜひ皆さんコメントをしていただければなと思います<笑>では皆さん火曜日5時のエピソードパート2僕たちは今から収録するんですけれどもまたお会いしましょうバイバイ,バイバ